Welcome back to the newest episode of Beyond 2D. I'm your host for today and for always because I'm a loser, a rig, of course. And welcome back. Last episode was a different bit. It was a little bit of a different episode because it was episode 10. I wanted to be a little bit more special. And so it ended up being just kind of like the recording of the live. I hope some of you guys watched it and liked it. And also, if you want to see more of lives, I go live on TikTok now more often than I thought I would. After recording this, I'm probably going to go live again because that's honestly a lot of fun. Man, that's something I want to talk about. I want to talk about jobs and live streaming because those are two things that are new in my life. So, why don't you guys grab a cup of coffee or a cup of water or something and just sit back and listen or play some games, watch some anime while listening. I don't care. As long as you listen and enjoy these, then I'm happy. Ah, okay. So I got a job recently, like a real nine to five business type job. And I've only been working here for a week and I already hate it. I don't hate but it's, it's definitely not my cup of tea, okay? And the dream would be I make this into my job. Between YouTube, TikTok, streaming, stuff like that. Just content creation. Basically talking about anime, playing games, and being stupid all day and making money off it. That would be the dream. That would be the absolute dream. And I don't know if I'll ever get there. Because it's hard to sink a lot of time in it because of other obligations and now with this job. But I'm going to try my best because after doing those lives and making a few dollars, like the feeling you get when you're doing something you love and you're making money off of it, fucking euphoric, okay? Like honest to God, it is the most amazing feeling ever. And it's it's hard to rely on people to, to basically be paying you to act stupid. Uh, but I appreciate every single one of you, whether you gift money, coins, just view it, just like the videos, just share anything. I appreciate you all because you guys are all, even no matter how small the input is, helping me reach the dream that I want. Because I'm working for a giant corporation and I am a small fry in it and it is just grueling. And waking up on a Monday morning and just thinking, oh fuck, I have five more days, 40 more hours of this shit. It is just so depressing. It is not my cup of tea. And there's people out there who can go to work nine to five get off and then just live their life and be perfectly satisfied but i don't think that is me and i'm gonna try my best to not let that uh not let that be me for the rest of my life i don't know it's is it me complaining that i don't like working yeah 100 percent. i'm a lazy fuck i want to just talk about anime titties all day and get paid for it is that realistic probably not but i'm going to try okay so essentially the more you guys support this channel, not necessarily monetary, but just views, sharing and stuff, the more I'll be willing to put into it and the more I'll be taking away from my other job to put into this. And then eventually once this starts making money, maybe I can quit my job and do this full time. And then a lot more effort can be got, put into this. I can be streaming multiple hours a day. I could be putting out a lot more YouTube videos except for this because this is easy. I just fucking sit here, complain for half an hour and then post it. But the more you guys support me, the more I can do this and again support i don't mean monetary because i know not everybody has money to give and that is perfectly okay i'm not expecting people to give me money i just watch my fucking videos i, I didn't mean to swear like to make it sound aggressive but yeah you can just like literally just sit there and watch my videos and that is enough support from you guys um so yeah speaking of live streaming i've been going live i think i've gone live three times uh two real ones one of them was just a test where i was just playing these videos and there were some people watching it surprisingly enough but anyways i went live and it's a lot of fun but it's also hard hard in the way of i don't know what the fuck to do or talk about i feel so lazy when i'm just sitting there talking to the people in the live in the chat because you guys are literally wasting your time just hearing me talk to you like i, I don't know do you guys enjoy that i some i guess some of you do because you guys keep showing up but i want to start doing more with the lives um I won't have a streaming schedule, obviously, because I got work and a lot of shit to do, but it'll mostly be weekends, weekend nights, and then sometimes during the week after work. So that'd be around like 530. I'd start it just depending on what's happening. I can't really set a full schedule now because my life is my life is really up in the air. 
but live streaming is so much fun. Like being able to chat with you guys is a lot of fun. Uh, interacting uh, with people who have been supporting my videos for a, a day and supporting my videos for a year. It's just a lot of fun and playing games. I want to start playing more games on it. I started playing Minecraft last night, but it was only for like half an hour because it was getting late. It was near the end of the stream when I started, but the stream after this video, I record this video. I'm going to be playing Minecraft. I don't know why I'm telling you guys because you guys won't be there because it's coming out on Tuesday. Anyways, a whole other thing. There's, it is um, insane how some people can be live for like, like XQC being live for like 12 hours a day, 20 hours a day is absolutely crazy. But then again, a lot of it is reactions. I feel like I could do reactions, but I also feel like that's like a really lazy type of thing. I'm just gonna, actually, yeah, I'm gonna ask, can we reactions, maybe watch TikToks, anime TikToks, cringe. It is, yeah, and then I can post on you. Oh fuck, okay, yeah, see, I'm coming up with good ideas just by recording because this is me essentially this podcast is me talking out loud complaining and just processing the th stupid thoughts in my head and then some of you guys listen to it and some of you guys enjoy it and that's weird but i can appreciate it it is crazy um what else i recently finished mashoku tensei i posted tiktok about it i talked about it in another live that show just continues to be an absolute masterpiece and the question at the end of the day is what team are you are you team eris are you team Sylphie? Sylphiette, whatever. Fits. I guess that's spoiler. Uh, cause spoiler alert. Um, Rudius and Sylphie do it. Get together. And he goes, I want to marry her. And she goes, okay. So, what's going to happen in the next season? I have no clue. My theory, based off of nothing, like I don't read the light novel, I don't read the manga, I don't read anything. My theory is that Rudius and Sylphie are going to leave their university and probably bring, uh, I don't know who they're going to bring, but they're probably going to leave and go looking for Rudius's family. And through that, they're going to run into Eris. And I don't know what's going to happen though. I want him to be with Sylphie because Sylphie is so much of a better girl than Eris. Eris is just kind of a bitch. Am I saying that about, what is she, 15? Yeah. I'm saying that about a 15 year old girl who's not even real, but you know what? Sylphie is best girl by far. She has been working hard and like pretending to be a guy and doing all these things just to save Rudius and just to find Rudius again. She's been there since day one. She's an absolute OG. And she's just like, she's an absolute Chad. Like, honestly, she's so different from, I uh, found sounds so fucking incel, but she's so different from like when the show started and she was just that shy kid he saved from being bullied. Uh, but I guess that's what happens when you grow up. And also, Rudis is a very much of a different person. And I kind of hate, again, I posted a TikTok today about how it's me saying it's so good. And people in the comments like, oh, it's mid because he supports slavery and all this. When will you guys give up on this whole, oh, Rudis is a terrible person, which makes the show really bad? First off, if you just look at it, he's become a better person throughout the show. Look at him from day one, the first episode till the latest episode. He respects Sylphie. He treats her amazingly compared to when he first started and he was like objectifying his mom. He's growing as a character and that shows that the author knows what he's doing. It's well written. The animation, oh my god, the animation of the show is absurd. Like those fight scenes, like some of the fight scenes, like the first part of the season was a lot of fights and kind of him just being depressed. And then the later half of the season when he was in university was a lot more character based but at that start there like some of the fights like when he took down a dragon oh my god that was so clean the animation is just fucking flawless and then in the second half when he was going against that demon guy and he was like charging up one attack it just looks so good i don't understand how they do it i mean i kind of do understand how they do it because like they're like a whole their own studio just to make this show because it is an isekai that kind of like made out every other isekai like every other isekai got inspiration from this it's just like i don't know what else to say it's just so good it's just so good and i'm really excited for the next season i think it's confirmed for 2024 if i'm not mistaken um but i don't really know what's gonna happen but i know what i want to happen okay this is this isn't this is the dream okay ready he marries both of them 
He marries Sophie and Eris. And man just starts a harem. Like, man just starts a harem and he's just strong. Because, like, he is he not, like, the strongest mage or the strongest wizard or whatever out there? Aside from, like, the gods, like, uh, the dragon god and stuff like that, have we run into a spellcaster who's been stronger than him? I don't... I don't think so. Because... Well... I guess you could say that lady... Not that lady, that girl who was with the dragon god and who was at the school, who he met. But she doesn't have any magical power, but she has, like, a weird thing that, like, helps her fight. I, I don't even know what it is. I think it's, like, a ring that the dragon god gave her. That whole part kind of confused me. Where she is also from Japan and stuff, and she came with the mana incidents. It was just... It's just so... They find a way to connect everything and explain everything. It's just such a well-thought-out story. Okay, I can sit here and praise Mishoku Tensei for hours. Because it is that good of a show. It is so, so good. And the fact that some people still aren't watching it because they want to be annoying is insane to me. But, you know, to each their own, I guess you could say. Okay, let me take, let me take a break. Let me take a sip of coffee. Ah. Oh, but yeah, it's, it's such a good show. It's definitely up there in top five shows for me. Including Naruto, because, okay, when I give you my top anime, like, when people ask me what my favorite anime is, it's it's hard, because I put Naruto at number one, but Naruto is just such, like, a special thing. It's almost like an honorable mention, where it's, like, number zero. It's not even number one. Because I know, at the end of the day, Naruto's shit. Like, realistically, the story is super basic. Uh, there's so much filler. It's just all empty. It's so predictable. But because it was my first ever anime, because I watched all 700 episodes and like 100 episodes of Boruto, plus like the movies and rewatching Naruto, because I spent so much time and energy into it, I just built such like a, I don't want to say connection because that sounds super dumb, but like I built like a, it's, it holds a special place in my heart and it'll always be number one. But then it's kind of like, I kind of lose all credibility and like, what's your favorite anime? And I go Naruto. I lose all my credibility. But I think... Aside from Naruto, Naruto will be number zero, okay? I was going to say letter zero, but number zero. My top three anime at this time are Attack on Titan, Vinland Saga, Mashoku Tensei. I don't know the order. I think the order... Fuck, it's hard, okay? I think the more Mashoku Tensei, the more, like, that gets released, the more it becomes my favorite. But I think number one is still Vinland Saga. I think that show is utter perfection, except for our niece. Like that whole arc with the lady, she, it was kind of dumb and annoying, but it showed a lot of character growth for, um, I was about to say for Rudius. Holy shit, I can't remember his name. What's his name? Oh my God. Uh, Thorfinn, there we go. Shows a lot of character growth for Thorfinn and even his friend, uh, not Bjorn, you know the guy. The other guy who was, like, a slave with him. And that scene where Thorfinn fights Snake, but, like, without a weapon, and after being, like, rusty and not fighting for three years, oh, my God, that makes me cream. Like, when it, it, like, flashes, like, he goes into the stance and, like, it flashes to, like, him as a kid with the weapons. Such a good show. So I think it goes Vinland Saga at number one. Mishoku Tensei at number two. Attack on Titan at number three. But then once the newest season of Attack on Titan comes out, I think that'll be number two because I'll watch and I'll remember how good it is. But uh, Attack on Titan really shot itself in the foot for people who are watching it season to season. Because of how weird they're putting out episodes and seasons and all that, it's really making putting people off and how long it's taking them to release seasons. If It would probably be a lot better for those who are starting when it's all finished and just watch all the way through. Because then they have it all laid out and it's all like sequential. It's not like, oh, six years between this season, one year between this season, uh, a year between this half of the season, another half of the season, and then three years between that season and that season. And then, I don't know, it really shot itself in the foot with how it aired. And I think that's a reason why it's only a number three compared to number two. But Hagatine is just so good. But it, it, it has gotten a bit weird. 
Okay, near the end, it, it's a bit weird. Um, but how detailed the story is, and like the origins and everything, and how many plot twists there are, is insane. It's it's an insane story, and it's definitely one of the greatest pieces of media ever made, Attack on Titan, between the manga and the anime. And you can have your own opinions about it, how you think it's boring, season two is boring, because there's a lot of politics, there's a lot of world building, and there's not a lot of action, and that's fully fair. If you're not into that, if you just want to see hype fights all the time, just go watch fucking Shonen. Um, yeah, I think Attack of Titan is number three or number two. I don't know. It's hard. Uh, essentially, can I just cheat and say they're all tied? Vinland Saga, Mashoku Tensei, and Attack of Titan are all tied for number two for my favorite anime. Because it's, it's so hard to differentiate between them. Objectively, the best written show would be Vinland Saga, I think. It's the least weird, it's the most just raw amazingness. Amazing fights, amazing stories, amazing characters, they're all well-written, all realistic. Mushoku Tensei is one I probably enjoyed the most because of just how good it looks and just I'm a harem man through and through. And it's also really well-written. And then Attack on Titan, I think, is... The most popular, I guess you could say, or like, I feel like it would be the most, the one I could recommend to people to watch. Because you can't recommend Mishoku Tensei to a new anime watcher. Because anyway, what the fuck is this? And even Vinland Saga. Vinland Saga starts off really slow. Like the first three episodes, nothing really happens in Vinland Saga, but it is very important. And then season two can be a bit boring for new anime watchers. But Attack on Titan, that episode, that first episode, it hooks you. It gets you invested you know what the fuck you're into, you're in for, and you just watch it all in like a like one, two sittings, three sittings, and it's just so good. I don't know. I do want to. Okay, so I also created a Discord server. I did. I finally created a Discord server, and those who were in my live were the only ones who got access to it so far because they're kind of like uh, I'll be using them as my guinea pigs. You know, they're testing out the the different features, and I do want to do anime watch parties. And maybe we can watch some of these anime together. And I would love that. So let me know if you want access to the Discord server. I can make it public. Um, once I put a few moderators in there and get some people, get some other things organized. But let me know if you want me to make the Discord server public. I'm going to eventually, but let me know if you'd want to do anime watch parties. We can watch Finland Saga, Mashoku, uh, maybe not Mashoku Tense. Maybe not like those weird anime. Because I don't want to be this sitting there watching like High School DxD with a 14 year old. Uh, that's a bit of a bit of a red flag you know <laughs> but yeah I, I got a job I started live streaming um Mishoku Tensei's done Jujutsu Kaisen is getting better uh spoilers for Jujutsu Kaisen I just saw the episode where they sealed Gojo and then because Gojo is so powerful the box can't like handle him I'm at that part and yeah I mean Anime is just so good these days where it's it's hard to it's hard to like complain about any of them. Like every anime I've watched, I mean, granted, I'm not watching a lot right now. I should, but because of just between work and me trying to create content and just living my life with my girlfriend and my family and stuff, it's hard to just sit down and watch it. Like I still really want to watch the Yamada Kun level 99. I want to watch Dangers in My Heart because she's like hot when she eats food. Oh, but I guess I'm going through one of those phases because I because a few months ago I was watching everything. And now I'm watching nothing. And I think I'm just going through one of those phases where I'm just watching nothing. But if this becomes my full-time job, then, like, I'm basically being paid to watch anime. So why don't I do that? And apparently, you can have subscriptions on Discord or some shit. Like, you can make, um, almost like Twitch, you can live stream on Discord. And then, like, people can subscribe. So maybe I could do, like, special Discord subscription movie nights or something. I don't know. Or make movie nights or anime nights subscription only. But then again, that feels so, like, trashy. Like, I know a lot of people do stuff like that, but I just don't want to, like, restrict my content beyond a paywall for people. Because I know a lot of people who are getting into anime are younger. A lot of my demographic is... I have a lot of demographic who's, like, 16, and then a lot of demographic who's, like, in their 20s. And I don't want to be, like, restricting it from an age group just because they can't pay. But then again, you got to get that bread. I don't know. It's hard. Maybe I'll think about stuff. Um, there's also the possibility of merch, but not like real merch, like just like clothes I would actually like to wear that I might want to release. I have ideas, but just getting to it, I'm a bit lazy. 
as you can see, it took me so long to make a Discord server or like release a Discord server. At the end of the day, it is pure laziness, but also because I'm pretty busy. But I will try my best. Um, I really want to get this going. Seeing, make going live and talking to you guys and making some money, even though it's only from like two gifters, which I really, really appreciate. Uh, they're the OGs, they're the Gs, they're the best. Um, seeing just some amount of income come in from this, finally, it's just so amazing. Because I started making TikToks a while ago, but then I just started up again. I stopped for a while because my life was going really bad. And so I stopped making videos. And then I started again, I think, in April of this year. And then, or May, April or May. And then it just started picking up traction. I released that one video where it's like the uh, My Dress Up Darling video. Anime like My Dress Up Darling that got like 900k views now. That's essentially where most of my followers came from, is that one video. Um, and ever since then, I didn't make a penny until really the lives. Or a few people gifted some video gifts, uh, like 25 cents here, 25 cents there. But like now I actually see like some dollar amount because YouTube, I obviously make nothing off it because it's not monetized. Um, but I actually, I actually might start doing the lives on YouTube because that's a, I'm pretty sure that's a way to monetize it because it's either like 3000 watch hours, which is insane. Or like a certain amount of like live watch hours. Because I, I met the subscriber count because usually it used to be a thousand subscribers you need. Now it's 500 and I have almost 800. But yeah, I don't know. A lot of things I need to think of that I shouldn't bot burden you guys with. But there's not much, like, it's hard to think of things to talk about now since I do live stream. And a lot of the people who watch these videos are also people in the live. So I need to come up with things that are different to talk about. And this one wasn't really thought out. I just had some free time. So I'm like, oh, I need to record one. Because I don't want to be lazy and just post, repost a live. Because also I listen to some anime music on that. And it's going to get copywritten. Oh, but anyways, that is this episode. I think this is episode 11. Uh, but yeah, I really appreciate you guys, whoever is watching this, whoever's watching it this long. I mean, it's only 20 minutes, but still really appreciate every single one of you guys trying to make my dream come true. We're just talking about anime titties and getting paid for. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. Let me know what you want me to talk about. Give me ideas in the comments. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on TikTok, join my live one day and let me know. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next Tuesday. Bye-bye.